Stop recording. Here is a summary of the key points about Shintoism and Hinduism in a structured outline format. Balabolka, Document 1 Bullet Shintoism Core Concepts Kami, Sacred Spirits or Objects in Shintoism Kanagara, Relatedness to the Natural Order Mysoji, Purification Ritual through Activities like Cold Waterfalls Oharai, Ritual Purification of Sacred Spaces Practices Torie Gates, Markers Separating Sacred Spaces Temizuya, Purification Basins at Shrines Shrine Worship, Rituals Overseen by Priests and Miko Maidens Festivals, Communal Celebrations to Ensure Prosperity Texts Kojiki Inihongi, Earliest Records of Japanese History and Kami Genealogies Sites Ais Jingu, Most Sacred Grand Shrine, Reconstructed Every 20 Years Role of Emperor Representative of Japan's bond with the Kami Imperial Lineage Traced to Sun Goddess Amaterasu Nationalist Influences Closer ties between Shinto and state during nationalist periods. Hinduism Core concepts Dharma, moral order and duties. Karma, law of cause and effect governing rebirth. Samsara, cycle of rebirth. Moksha, liberation from samsara. Goals Householders seek best rebirth through dharma. Renunciate seek moksha through asceticism. Social model. Chattavana system and castes. Ashrama stages of life. Purusharthas. For aims of life, dharma, artha, karma, moksha. Texts. Vedas, Upanishads, Puranas, Ramayana, Mahabharata. Bhagavad Gita reconciles paths of action, knowledge, devotion. Traditions Yoga, devotion, bhakti, festivals, pilgrimages. Major deities, Trimurti, Ganesha, Devi. Let me know if you need any part of the outline expanded on or have additional questions. For Shintoism no distinction is made between religious vs cultural identity in Japan, Shinto practices are deeply embedded in cultural traditions rather than a distinct religious identity. The relationship between Shinto and politics is not mentioned, such as how Shinto was closely linked to the emperor state and influenced nationalist movements. For Hinduism The distinction between renouncer and householder lifestyles is not outlined clearly enough. Renouncers pursue moksha through asceticism while householders reconcile family duties with liberation. The roles and influence of female spiritual leaders' teachers is missing, even though important gurus like Mirabai and Lal did expanded opportunities despite generally patriarchal norms. Contemporary issues like cultural appropriation of yoga traditions in the West and calls for more diversity attention to origins by scholars like Andrea Jain are relevant, but not included. Here is the information from the transcript organized into a more structured format. Renouncers and Householders Foundational Ideas of Renouncers Beings are reincarnated or reborn into the world of suffering, samsara, over and over due to karma, law of cause and effect governing rebirth. Freedom from samsara is liberation, moksha, from the limitations of space, time and matter. Liberating knowledge, jnana, can be achieved through asceticism and yoga spiritual disciplines. New religious ideal figure is the renouncer, not the Vedic priest. Goal of renouncers To achieve liberation, moksha, from the cycle of rebirth. Goal of householders To achieve the best rebirth through fulfilling one's dharma. Role of those at the top of the social hierarchy. To maintain the system of social obligation. Later developments. Multiple systems are worked out to allow for both fulfillment of Dharma and liberation. The Ashrama system. 
model for the life stages of a Brahmin male focused on duties and responsibilities at each stage, student, householder, hermit, renouncer. Reconciling life ways. Epics like the Ramayana and Mahabharata attempted to reconcile renouncers and householders. Bhagavad Gita introduced concept of achieving liberation through dharma, devotion, and knowledge. Key concepts. Dharma, artha, karma, moksha as the four aims of life. Yoga meaning union or discipline. Asceticism, renunciation, fasting as spiritual practices. Emergence of bhakti or devotional tradition. You're right, not every point from the original text is represented here. Here is an edited version including only the key points directly from the transcript. Renouncers and Householders Foundational Ideas of Renouncers Found in the Upanishads The Vedas are part of the Hindu scriptures that are considered revealed or smirti. Goal of Householders Focused on achieving the best rebirth through Dharma and fulfilling societal obligations. Those at the top of the social hierarchy are invested in maintaining the system of social obligation. The Ashrama System The Ashrama or Life Stages model for Brahmin male outlines for stages, student, householder, hermit, renouncer. This model is outlined in the Laws of Manu. Reconciling Life Ways Renouncers pose a challenge to wider society and society wrestles with how to relate to them. Attempts throughout Hinduism's history to reconcile householders and renouncers. Key figures and texts. Ramayana and Mahabharata epics. Bhagavad Gita introduces three paths to liberation, karma, bhakti, jnana yoga. Laws of Manu states renouncing obligations leads to hell. Key concepts. Purasathas, for aims of life dharma, artha, karma, moksha. Rituals of renunciation, funeral rites, renouncing pleasure. Asceticism, fasting, celibacy as renunciate practices. I'd be happy to help you organize the content into a more structured format. Here's a suggested outline. Hinduism. Overview. Definition, Hinduism is a term applied by foreigners to the people living in the region of the Indus River. Characteristics, diverse and highly localized, with no historic founder or unified system of belief. Foundational ideas. Dharma, religious and moral life, economic development, appropriate gratification of the senses, an escape from cycle of reincarnation, samsara. Purasathas, for aims of life, dharma, artha, karma, and moksha. For stages of life, celibate student householder, hermit or forest dweller, and renouncer. Renouncers and householders. Renouncers, focused on achieving liberation from the cycle of rebirth, through yoga and spiritual disciplines. Householders, focused on achieving the best rebirth, through fulfilling social obligations and domestic rituals. Yoga. Definition, to yoke or unite covers a range of mental and physical practices designed to transform consciousness. Goals, to achieve liberation from the cycle of rebirth, through spiritual knowledge, jnana, and realization of the immortal absolute. Bhakti and devotion. Definition, devotion, worship, or ritual, either public or private. Practices, communal puja, individual puja, and worship of various deities. Deities and Goddesses Trimurti, the three primary aspects of the universe, Brahma, Creator, Vishnu, Preserver, and Shiva, Destroyer. Goddesses, Dugo, Kali, Saraswati, and Lakshmi, each with their own associations and characteristics. Festivals and Pilgrimages Kumbamela, a major pilgrimage festival, where millions of people gather to bathe in the holy rivers. Divali, a festival of lights, celebrated with cleaning, feasting, and gift-giving. Holai, a festival of colors, celebrated with burning of the demon Holika. Timeline Indus Valley Civilization, 
circa 2500 to 1500 BCE. Vedic period, c. 1500 to 500 BCE. Upanishadic period, c. 600 to 100 BCE. Epics and Puranic period, c. 500 BCE, 1500 CE. Medieval period, c. 500-1200 CE. Colonial period, circa 1757 to 1947 CE. Postcolonial independent India, c. 1947 CE present. Challenges for study. Diversity, Hinduism encompasses a wide range of beliefs and practices. No historic founder, Hinduism has no historic founder or unified system of belief. Practice takes precedence over belief, correct practice is determined by one specific dharma. As for the content on yoga, it appears that the article discusses the historical and philosophical context of yoga in Hinduism, as well as its modern popularization in the West. The article highlights the gap between the original tradition and the popularization of yoga, and raises questions about cultural appropriation and whether Westerners should practice yoga. Let me know if you'd like me to reorganize the content in a different way. Here are short answers for the key concepts in world religions. Kami, spirits or gods in Shintoism. Tsumi, kegar, misoji, impurity, pollution, purification ritual in Shintoism. Karma, samsara, moksha, karma is the universal law of cause and effect, samsara is the cycle of rebirth, moksha is liberation from the cycle in Hinduism. Prasad, puja, prasad is blessed food offered to gods, puja is temple ritual worship in Hinduism. Dharma, righteous or proper way of living, moral law of order in Hinduism. Components of a Shinto shrine, Torii Gate, Temizuya, Purification Basin, Hayden, Worship Hall, and Hunden, Innermost Sanctuary. Ais Jingu, most sacred shrine in Shintoism, reconstructed every 20 years using the same ancient techniques to renew the site's purity. Kojiki in Ihongi, earliest records of Japanese history, genealogies of the Kami. Vedic systems, Sankhya, Yoga, Naya, Vaisheshika, Mimamsa, Vedanta differing views on Brahmin, Atman, Liberation. Sruti Smuti, revelatory vs remembered texts, the Vedas vs secondary works like epics and Puranas. Purusha, cosmic primordial man sliced to create the world in the Purusha Sukta him. Castes, social classes of priests, warriors, merchants, laborious in the Varna system. The Mahabharata, epic tale of conflict, contains the Bhagavad Gita teachings on Dharma. Ashrama stages, student, householder, hermit, renunciate stages of life in Hinduism. Purusharthas, Dharma, Artha, Karma, Moksha, Duty, Prosperity, Desire, Liberation Aims. Festivals, Holai, Diwali, Dashain, important seasonal and mythological celebrations. Amaterizu, sun goddess, most important deity in Shinto, ruler of Takamanahara heavenly plane. Major Hindu deities, Brahma the creator, Vishnu the preserver, Shiva the destroyer, Yogi. Ganesh, remover of obstacles, son of Shiva and Parvati, popularly worshipped. Parvati, consort of Shiva, motherly form, associated with Shakti power, fertility. Devi, divine female power, consorts, includes Dugal, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Kali, Umats, Parvati. Religious identity in Japan, complex, Shinto festivals, practices embedded in culture not exclusive identity. Shinto and politics, closely linked, emperor considered appointee of kami, influence nationalist movements. Renunciate versus householder, pursue moksha through asceticism vs familial and social duties reconciled. Female gurus, important teachers like Mira, Lal Ded, have expanded roles despite patriarchal norms. Andrea Jain on yoga, critiques appropriation, calls for attention to yoga's Hindu origins and diversifying the field. The ways of the kami.
In ancient Japan, the people lived closely with nature's beauty. They observed the turning of the seasons and paid homage to forces like the sun, moon, and lightning that nourished their rice fields. Tall Mount Fuji was especially sacred, as the perfect embodiment of divine creativity. The earliest spirits the people discerned were called kami. Dwelling in forests, streams, and seas, the kami's indescribable essence termed kami evoked feelings of awe and wonder. To communicate with the kami and seek their help, rituals developed overseen by specialists. As power coalesced, the emperor came to represent the nation's bond with the kami. Two formative texts, the Kojiki and Nihongi, connected the imperial lineage to the sun goddess Amaterasu. Grand Eye Shrine emerged as her holy home. Buddhism's arrival influenced notions that kami took Buddhist forms. Shrines arose where kami chose to reside, separated from the profane by markers like Torie gates. Priests and Miko aided villages in worship and festivals to ensure prosperity. Purification like Maisoji under cold waterfalls helped restore people's natural brightness by removing Tsumi, while Oharai rites cleansed spaces. Though Shinto lacks a founder or creed, relatedness to the natural order turned Kanagara remained core. Later, seeking autonomy, scholars collated indigenous practices. Then state control redefined Shinto for nationalist ends. Today most Japanese experience heritage through communal shrine visits, while some explore Shinto further as a natural spirituality. All revere Japan's sacred essence embodied in its verdant landscape.